look at me like I'm crazy When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, I, I. Hi mommies, welcome back to my channel Today I will share my early morning to afternoon routine with you all and also share some tips to make your mornings productive. How you start your morning sets the vibe for your whole day. If you wake up late, lounge around in your pajamas and head straight into taking care of the kids, before you know it, the day is over and you get nothing accomplished. Sluggish mornings equal sluggish days. So wake up before your kids do and have a peaceful and productive morning routine that will ensure that you can make most out of your day with little stress, chaos and overwhelm as possible. As let's be real guys, having kids at home 24-7 is no piece of cake, isn't it? I like to start my mornings with intention. When I lie down in the bed at night, I think about what I really want to accomplish tomorrow. It's basically telling yourself what's going to happen in the morning. So your mind is prepared. Intentions are powerful. So set your intentions the night before and you already started your day on a good note. Every morning I have three intentions. An intention to experience that morning silence and gain peace out of it, which is hard to find when kids wake up. An intention to exercise and take care of my body. And lastly, an intention to listen to wise and encouraging words of BK Shivani Didi every morning, whose speech is filled with positivity that fills up my cup of patience kindness and happiness you can only pour out of what you have and you need to refill your cup each morning if these three things are checked out of my morning routine these are three wins for me not every day i can achieve everything as a lot of times kids would wake up not finding me next to them but even if i can get 30 to 40 minutes to myself i am ready and prepared to face the day ahead now so that my morning routine is taken care of, I am ready to take shower and start with mommy duties. Let me start by showing you a magical powder that I mix in water and drink these days. I am drinking this around mm, I would say few weeks now and I can see visible difference in my tummy fat. It has cinnamon, turmeric, dry ginger, cumin and black pepper powder. I will include the exact ratios on the screen somewhere for your reference. Each ingredient has an important role to play in weight loss but I am more excited about cinnamon because lately I read that cinnamon converts white fat that is stored in belly into brown fat which burns and provides energy to body. So do include cinnamon in some form in your diet. It will not only give you energy but will also help in burning fat. So now kids are up as well and snoozing in the kitchen. Once they wake up, they like to spend some time resting in the kitchen. My husband, he's making the drink, the weight loss drink that I just spoke about. He's making it for both of us and I am prepping the lunch. So now starts the full on non-stop day. I like to get lunch out of the way in the morning as later when we are done with breakfast I can clean the kitchen only once and then come into the kitchen to cook straight in the evening. I like to slow cook as while food is being cooked I can do some clean up side by side like empty the dishwasher so that the dish clutter do not accumulate and I can rinse and stack the dishes and so on. I will clear the countertop of the kitchen tools that I've been using to cut the veggies wash with plain water where I can or stack the dishwasher. Hold on tight. I can 
smell the shore It's right in front of us if we just hold on tight This vision that I saw is getting closer every dawn We are dreamers of the These days I am paying more attention to the amount of water I am drinking as I realized I was not drinking enough. So I am filling this 2 litre pitcher to make sure I drink enough water throughout the day. While I do the chores, kids are playing in the kitchen and while they are playing, I will finish up cooking the lunch and cleaning side by side. If I do not empty the dishwasher, the counter space will slowly accumulate with dish clutter. So I make sure that I empty it every morning. When I empty the dishwasher, I am putting away few dishes into the cabinet and the drawers and few on the countertop. Why? As I will be needing them soon for chai and breakfast. So why put them in to take them out in a little while? Just being lazy here. Also, I can sit and empty the dishwasher as I have arranged all my silverware next to dishwasher to make it easy for me to empty. I have shown my entire kitchen organization system which has been divided into 5 parts in more depth in my kitchen tour video which in case you are interested go and check it out on my channel. I will actually link it in the description box uh, so you can find it easily but it's a must watch video. It will give you an idea how to organize Organize, how to better organize your kitchen. I now asked kids to go and get their teeth brushed. Diani brushes her teeth herself but Kushang, mm -hmm, he doesn't. So I do it for him. I think he's still too young so I just help him. Diani was excited today to blog her brushing routine. So let's quickly watch her routine. So now I'm going to do brush. So I'm going to fill the glass. Uh, my glass is filled. Now I'm going to put my brush. Look. My brush. I'll wash the brush. And then. And then now I put toothpaste. And then I'm going to brush my teeth. So look. All clean. <laughs> and then I put the toothpaste. And then. I am going to brush. So this is how I start my routine. I told you this routine now. Now see. Okay guys. So I'm going to show you how to do your routine. So first brush and then do breakfast and then. So I did first time the video. So let's see. So now I clean it. So this is done. So this is how I do it. So my routine I'm going to eat breakfast now and go to play out. So this is how I do the brush. So do your kids do brush? Or they go in the dentist. So now I am wiping my face and then my brush is done. So now I am going to go out 
by closing the lights. Bye for now. Diani does not like after brush taste. So she eats a little carom seeds post brushing. I have shared the recipe in my kitchen tips video. This carom seeds are very good for toddlers and kids as they prevent threadworms and other bacterial infections in the intestine. So I try and incorporate it into kids diet. Now while I'm making breakfast, kids are coloring. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations oh Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Kushank, super rich to coloring Wow, nice! Bata, bata! Wait, you wait, you wow. Oliver, the watermelon, come up out, mermaid, mermaid, and how about tips? Tips, 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 tips,
So after eating mulberries, we went for a long walk for around like 40 minutes and kids are very tired riding their balancing bike. So now we are back home and I am making rotis. If they are tired, only then they will eat. Otherwise, they don't feel much hungry. So I make sure when we go out for a walk, they are tired. They both eat themselves. They take time, a lot of time, but they do it themselves. Also, they keep forgetting that they have to eat with right hand, but I keep reminding them. I'm sure they will learn it one day. So now we've had our lunch and post lunch, I want to do a little bit of gardening before I start on my YouTube work. I actually have these clippings of Kalanko, which I want to propagate. I took the clippings around two days ago and left them on the countertop to form the callus. And now they are ready to be planted to the soil. I'm planning to renovate my backyard garden area. You know where there is Buddha for which I'm trying to propagate this beautiful plant. I will share more details about the garden renovation in future videos. I have some great plans and can't wait to share with you all. But I'm not sure how much will be executed, how much will happen. So let me just not share the ideas right now. Once the garden is up and ready, I'll definitely show you guys. कम्प्लेन न करती हम कुछ हम दीदी नोटा ना मैंने बन टू टाइम्स मैं तो बहुत टाइम हो गई कुछ नहीं दीदी नहीं दीदी जेंटल बस जानो हम मम्मा ने कैरी ऑन करना है तू ना की दिया तो पानी में ना क्यों सो वी मेक सी सो so it's around 2 pm now and now i will focus on my job number two which is my youtube work kids will free play now and they mostly spend time swinging and talking in the backyard riding their bike or scooter and everything i have kept in the backyard they will definitely be in and out all the time they play they fight they have issues with each other which they come to me to resolve and amidst all this i try and do my youtube work it's hard to focus but somehow i manage it's not it's difficult but it's manageable you know what i'm trying to say each mom has her own struggles so this is a little sneak peek of how i manage everything being an individual being a homemaker and a stay at home working mother વચ્ચે વચ્ચે મૂકી મારા બાઈક માં તો હું લાઈટ કરતી હતી ને તો Okay. <laughs> 
Kopi kaca nama mana? Hey guys, so right now I am in my ki- kitchen. <laughs> I'm always in the kitchen. Right now I am in my office doing some editing and kids are playing outside. And when you will see this vlog, you will actually observe that I have... <laughs> my hand is burned i actually accidentally got my hand burned and before you guys ask me questions i want to show you and i want to tell you exactly what happened so first let me show you the hand so there you go let me just yeah i have blisters here because i didn't soak it uh this bit in the water but i certainly soaked this in cold water so luckily i don't have any blisters here but this is the first time ever i actually burnt myself like this so i've been cooking like more than 15 years now never ever anything like that happened so basically what happened was that i was um i was shallow frying some i had to shallow fry some potatoes and i put on a karai on the gas stove the oil was hot and just before i was about to put the potatoes in I thought mm, the oil seems a bit too much. I shall scoop out a little. So I took a spoon and I took the oil out. And I don't know, I was just putting it into my oil container for some reason. I don't know. I don't have that memory. For some reason, instead of putting it on the container, something might have happened. My hand, I don't know. It just happened to. <laughs> I poured it on my hand accidentally and it just went from here all the way you can see here and I felt that burn and I just screamed and everybody in my home like my kids and my husband they were like oh, what happened I'm like I got myself burned and the burning sensation was so bad like you know for I immediately applied yogurt I read it somewhere that yogurt is very good I just couldn't uh, figure out where exactly have I burnt my hand. So I applied yogurt like, you know, on the back, in the front, everything like my entire this hand was burning. Like, you know, I had that inflammation. So I kept the yogurt for some time. And then later, at least for five to six hours, my whole hand, it was in pain. I had so much of, of inflammation it was like you know constantly my hand was on fire that was the feeling then I also applied some honey I applied aloe vera gel I applied because I didn't knew I was just trying everything because all I wanted to avoid was the blister but uh, I didn't realize that all I'm doing is here and ignoring this portion anyways the good thing is that I burnt my hand left hand uh, I don't know because this is front camera maybe you'll see it as the right hand because the front camera flips the image so this is my left hand and I burned it on the top so it's not making a big difference as far as the work or the chores or cooking making rotis uh, giving shower to kids and everything is concerned so I'm just pretty much uh, functioning as normal but the only thing is when I'm going to cook chop cut like, you know, this thing is going to show and you, you're going to see this in many, many videos now because uh, it's it's going to stay for a while. I don't know how long. First, the skin will heal, then it will come off, I don't know, peel off. And then this scar, I don't know what happens uh, once you get burned so much. I don't know if there is any uh, ointment or if there is any remedy that I can do to like, you know, to fix this pigmentation or this this burnt skin i don't know uh what will happen if you've got any suggestions do let me know in the comment section below because i <laughs> i wouldn't like my hand to be like this all the time so i want this to heal and this is something that i just wanted to let you guys know because i know i'll get heaps of questions like you guys appreciate my vlogs and videos and you guys 
shower so much of love that i'm sure this is not going to be missed so i thought let me just give you guys an update so guys this was my morning to afternoon routine i hope you enjoyed watching this video and especially dhyani's first vlogging if you did you know what to do like this video share it with your friends and family and i shall see you in my next video bye for now